YTPC, it's Garrett, Smoke Snacks. Um, so I have, I have a couple of hours before my flight, and I have a whole bunch of these empty pouches, uh, or not empty, um, open pouches of Captain Black. I've been trying all the different pouches I could get my hands on because a lot of those blends are super popular, and they're popular for a reason, and I wanted to figure that out. Now, I've, I've tried all these, and I got more than one pouch of each kind, and I'm going to be gone for a while, and I'm not going to have a way to monitor these or consume them, and Katie's not about them. So um, I was screwing around with the idea, and I even I threw it out to a couple uh, couple different presenters, um, <clears throat> see you know bounce it off them, see what it sounded like, and I got a lot of positive encouragement. So I'm going to make Captain Black salad, and then we're going to smoke it, and we're going to see what that tastes like. I got, uh, I believe it's all five of the flavor, all five of the blends. I'm going to do equal portions of each. I was going to use a scale, but uh, apparently my scale is dead. And, and I don't have uh, batteries for it, so that sucks. So I'm just going to use a um, standard little prep jar, you know, for the kitchen for ingredients. Um, that's all been rubbed out with alcohol, and that's dried out. So we're ready to go there. Um, I have a stainless steel airtight rubber sealed container I'm going to blend that in and i'll be able to leave it all in there but we'll do a test batch with the measuring container first so it's equal parts one of each blend toss it up load it in a bowl smoke it see what it's like let's go all right so here we are we got our pouches they're all open they've all been sampled equally one bowl a piece out of uh, going into the same pipe uh, corn cobs so the same volume should be missing out of each one so theoretically, if this works out, I can just dump them all in this handy-dandy container got from Amazon, um, and I should be able to make a blend. I have some hydration discs if it works out, and I'll be able to keep the Captain Black salad and see how it goes over time. All right, I moved the camera. Let me get some of this going here. I'm just going to fill this. This little jar or this little cup equally each time or as equally as I can eyeball it. Then I'll dump it in the container and go from there. Start with Captain Black Royal. Not going to pack it down. Not going to dry it out because I'm in Colorado and it's dry enough. By the time I get back from my trip, this will likely be tinder if I don't uh, get it put in something airtight. But this seemed like a good use of it. All right, so that is up to the air the level in the bowl where the it evens out. I'm gonna fill each one to that volume. I don't need to overdo it. So number one is in. I remembered to turn on my uh, lapel microphone system this time. One of the videos that I uploaded yesterday, um, we had forgotten to switch the recording over to the mic. See, they were on, and they were on us, but the camera was not selected to uh, record off of that. So it sounded horrid in comparison. I mean, it's still pretty good. All right, pinch more maybe. So there's the Captain Black Gold. Of all of these, I think it was um, the least pleasurable, but still a pretty good blend across the board. Um, I didn't, I didn't have a hard time with any of the Captain Blacks. The cherry, um, it does, it does have a very artificial cherry taste, like uh, people complained about. But you know what? That also wasn't unpleasant. It um, didn't make me think like Pepto-Bismol or anything. So I know some people said like Robitussin, and I don't think it was that bad. But it's, it's also no cold blood red moon. Um, that is a 
stupendous blend. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend that you do. Um, honestly, I think it might be worth full price, but it's usually a different different on, the online vendors are usually selling it at competitive prices. At least as far as my, my cheap ass has kept up with it. Alright, so there's the Captain Black original in the jar. The cherry. I actually uh, had a co-worker um, ask me if I had any Captain Black cherry because that when he did smoke a pipe in college was his favorite blend of all time and I had on cigar bids where I, I won all these um, for pretty good prices if you guys are interested um, I had gotten four pouches for I think it was three dollars and fifty cents a piece um, pretty solid price for that so I, I tossed him a pouch and I went a little nuts on there, so I've got lots of extra. There's the cherry. And the dark. Um, the dark and the original out of all of this were tied for the number one spot with me. The original is just super, super smooth, but there is a, a mellow, sweet quality to the dark that uh, that's that's pretty hard to deny I don't imagine that this this is going to be some like life-changing um, blend but this is for fun so there we go there's our last little bit Cut it on camera there. There we go. Get that sealed up. I have some um, hydration discs I can stick to the lid on this thing. And uh, I know that this is not the proper way to blend. I, I've watched a couple of Jeremy Reeves' videos because um, I've actually made some blends for Katie just because she was craving a certain flavor that's really not catered to. Um, so I used some Lane 1Q and um, got the alcohol-based flavoring so she wouldn't have any issues with the propylene glycol and how that feels on people's tongues. I made her a blend. Um, she's a really big fan of clove. So I made her a clove blend, um, mixed in a little bit of some of the other blends that we had, um, just to add a little more depth to that. Let's check how that looks. That looks nice and mixed to me. It visually looks like many of the popular blends. It smells like a number of top popular blends. Um, perhaps that is what I've been buying. It's just Captain Black Salad. But I'm going to go grab a pipe, get it ready, and then uh, I'll set up and smoke with you guys. Alright, so... Got it loaded up here in my Nordic compass. Um, it, I think this is going to be really good. First taste is really mellow, and. Uh, there's no over overly sweet notes of any kind. It's just it's really quite nice, just sort of middle ground on every front. My taste buds are jacked up, for the record. I recognize that. We can make an hour-long video talking about why my taste buds are jacked up. I have some really good stories. Packed it a little too hard. That's 
not bad. I think it's all going in the jar. Um, by any means, if you like one of those more than the other, don't do this, because all of them lose their specialness doing this. It's just this middle ground between all of them. Um, but if you don't have a definite favorite, and you are in this same situation where I, I didn't have the jars to put them all in. I didn't want to set aside the jars to put them all in. But at the same time, I also didn't want them to go to waste because they were pretty good. Um, I don't have anybody I could just give it to nearby. There's not that many pipe smokers in my area. I have to travel uh, 45 minutes to an hour to get to either of the two pipe tobacco brick and mortar shops here in the area. Um, or two hours the other way. So I really don't have anybody I can just hand it off to. So I think this is going to be the best route where it doesn't go to absolute waste and kind of like a just Captain Black whatever jar. But well, that was fun. Thanks, guys. Um, give me some comments. Uh, tell me what I did wrong or what do you think would fix this. Um, I have a massive sweet tooth. Do you have something I can add to this that would uh, brighten it up without it being Malta Dolce? Because... Um, I have a lot of Molta Dolce, so good there. But, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Um, just trying to, trying to get some stuff done, be productive um, before my flight. I misread my time, and so I thought the p.m. was a.m., so I was ready to go, like, 5 this morning. I'm not going just chilling here like an idiot. You guys have a good day. Bye.